Hi guys, welcome back to The Contented Plant. Today we are going to finish out our series on the Monstera seedlings. I have germinated two different batches. Um, the first one I germinated in the little pods. They're the peat moss pods. That did okay for me. Well, I wouldn't say okay. I actually only was able to get two plants to grow out of 10. So that's not exactly um, a successful rate. However, I did have them going in the middle of the historic heat wave that we had in the Pacific Northwest, and I kind of suspect they got cooked. So I don't know if that's a reliable scientific experiment on the peat moss pods. The second ones I germinated in a paper towel that was moist and I just kept spritzing them. They did pretty well. They actually all ended up germinating, I think except for two. I think two did not germinate, but most of them did germinate and they did end up growing into cute little monstera seedlings. So let's take a look at them and do a quick update. So this is the second batch that I did. These are newer little baby monsteras and they have done pretty well. Um, they are a little bit smaller just because they are younger. And what I did was I germinated them in paper towels and then I planted them right into these pots which obviously makes it quite simple. You don't have to worry about repotting them. They can grow for quite a while in these pots. And I did three seeds in this pod and I did four seeds in this one. Now, I actually thought only two of these seeds were gonna grow because these two grew. And then way later, like last week, this one all of a sudden popped up, this teeny tiny little one here. So there is a fourth one in there and I am not sure if it's gonna grow or not. What I have noticed is these are a little bit slower to grow, the Monstera seeds. So if you have them sitting in there and you're like, wow, they're just not popping up, don't throw them out because they take a while and sometimes they can surprise you and pop up later. So I would have to say this is the easiest way to do it because you just germinate them in a paper towel. As soon as they sprout, you just plant them much like a regular Monstera plant in a well-draining aeroid mix, and then you're done. You don't really have to do much else. Just watch them grow, keep them in a nice, happy, bright spot. The original way that I propagated was with the peat moss pods. They, do, they have a, a netting around them, and that's where you run into a little bit of trouble. You grow them in a tiny little germination thing, and they have the netting around the pods which was fine and they did grow okay once they started to root in there. However, I did have an issue with the larger plant, which is this one. It, the root did end up going through the side of the netting and I had to carefully dissect and cut around it before planting it into a bigger pot. So for ease of planting, again, I would just go with putting them straight into the potting mix as soon as they sprout. However, you can see this guy is now doing extremely well. I am so happy with it. It has new leaves coming up all over the place right here. This big, beautiful leaf here, another beautiful leaf there. And I know this one is just going to be huge and I'm so excited about it. I can also see that it's got a beautiful root there and it's actually growing all the way out the bottom. So I'm gonna need to put this guy in a bigger pot already because this one is just growing at a record pace. So I plan on keeping this plant. I love it. It's like my little baby. I've nurtured it, it's grown. Um, I can't keep all the babies though because monsteras get huge and let's be honest, I don't need three large monsteras in my house. So one of these is going to my cousin and then I have to figure out who to give the next one to because they will both be going away. So I will keep updating you on the growth of this one. The other two are going to go to new homes and I'm pretty happy with how everything went. I definitely think germinating them in the paper towel and taking them out as soon as they sprout and putting them in their correct pots just saves a lot of extra headache. You don't really need to germinate them in the peat pots. So I wouldn't do that unless you just have them around and you really want to try doing it that way. It did work for me, but I will say it's a little more work. And then you have to make sure that netting doesn't get tangled in the root system. So there's a little more room for error with that method. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this series. Let me know if you try and germinate some monstera seeds. Of course, I hope beyond all hope that one of these will have the chimera gene and become a variegated monstera, but I know the chances of that are extraordinarily low. So I'm probably just gonna have a big, beautiful green monstera, which is just fine with me.
Let me know if you guys have any further questions about growing monsteras from seeds. I will be doing a post on my website where I go a little bit more in depth about the different ways that you can germinate and how they all work. And I will link that down below at the bottom of this video. I will also link the other monstera seed updates that I had previously before this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. If you haven't already, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at The Contented Plant. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.